and welcome to our Friday lineup of GMNC. It's my pleasure to extend a cheerful welcome to you all. I'm Taryn Woods and I will be your anchor for today's show. Before we start, a big thank you to Puza Water for our studio bottled water, the Hair Shack for our beautiful hair and Lamontan for this exquisite location. Let's kick start with the weather and surf report brought to you by Victory Surf. In welcome by your weer for vandaag, brought to you by Victory Surf. Today we have a nice day with some sunshine with a high of 21 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. The real fuel will be 22 degrees and the real fuel shade 20 degrees. We have a northeasterly wind at 9 kilometers per hour and wind gusts at 24 kilometers per hour. Only 3% chance of showers. The sunrise will be at 7:39 a.m. and the sunset at 5:47 p.m. In Joburg, we have a high of 19 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Pretoria, we have a high of 21 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Cape Town, we have a high of 20 degrees and a low of 12 degrees. Next up will be your surf report brought to you by Victory Surf. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe. The magic of an accompaniment. Good morning, Belito, and welcome to Friday's Beach Report and an overview for the weekend. And another beautiful morning on the east coast of Africa. Lovely sunrise again at 6.38 this morning and uh, great conditions. Light northwesterly breezes, oceans cleaned up nicely, uh, so not those big brown patches that we were used to from the floods. So choose your beaches carefully, um, but you can venture out now with uh, not much risk in the ocean of uh, any infections or anything like that. So lots of blue water around, so it's definitely safe to go back in the water. Um, beach, the beaches, main beach and the bog, obviously the best with little lefts and rights everywhere. Little onshore coming through this afternoon. And then over the weekend, still southwesterly breezes on uh, Saturday, but Sunday big northeasterly and uh, unfortunately no surf on Sunday. So look out for today and tomorrow. Welcome back to our GMNC show. With me in studio is our ever so handsome Tony Subramani to bring us our daily inspiration. Tony, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Welcome back, Dad. And nice to have you on the hot seat there. Yeah, it's nice to finally be back. Yeah, yeah. great. It is good to be on the outside as well. I was just saying how beautiful is it being outside. Absolutely. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. So, Tony, what are we kicking off our daily inspiration Okay, with? today I want to talk about a little bit of a tongue twister. Yeah. But a serious message is... Grow through what you go through. Grow through what you go through. Yes. That is right. a tongue twister. It is. But it, it's actually such an important yeah. aspect of life that we need to realize that we all go through some very, very uh, tragic episodes in life, experiences that we go through. I mean, recently as well, with the floods and what's happened yeah, in case definitely. of it. But I want to address this to people who have been through a divorce some years ago, someone who's lost their job, someone's been you know, through some very unpleasant uh, relationships that they've had, financial difficulties, you know. Yeah. So many people feel that that's the end of life. I've been through it, you know, life is such and I'm not going to be able to get out of it. And yeah. today I want to encourage these viewers to understand that you have the potential to make a breakthrough. Yeah, right? it's very important. I, yeah, I hear people always say, oh, it's easier said than done. But if you don't make the effort, it's never going to be anything better than where you are, mm. you know. Change comes out of the effort you make to look at the life differently and positively. Yeah. And, and, and we all go through these experiences, right? Yeah. But the thing is, at that time when you experience it, it's good to experience it, fully acknowledge it and know that it's happening to you. Go through all the emotions that you go through, but understand that you need to get out of it rather than just staying in this dark area, yeah. the dark place and being bitter in life. Yeah. You know, so you have your children and they think, well, that's what life is about. You know, life is just a journey of bitterness, disappointment and despondency. And that's not what it is. But I know a number of listeners, our viewers are also wondering, how do we do this? What do we do? And yeah, firstly, what, what steps do we take? Yeah, you know, firstly, make the effort, right? Believe in yourself and give yourself permission today that it is possible to move out of this dark corner that I've put myself in or, or circumstances have put me in. 
all right? Mm -hmm. Make the effort to get out of it. As soon as you start making the effort, you start attracting the right circumstances for you to see progress, for you see, to see the light, yeah. all right? Also, failure is not that bad F word. You know, I always say success is a series of failures along the way, yeah. right? So if you failed once, it's cool to get on back and get going. Failure is feedback. Failure True. is feedback. True. Failure is saying to you what you've True. tried didn't work, but there's other ways and means of getting over the hurdle and getting into a better place in life Most as well. Definitely. Also, connect with people that have been there and, and, and have kind of successfully managed these situations as well, knowing fully well that everyone's been through some tragic experience. Mm. You don't need to be alone in this dark spot that you've created and say, well, that's what life is all about. Yeah, that'll just hold you back. Right, it'll yeah. hold you back. Yeah. So there's a number of support groups. There's people abundantly available to say, listen, there is a way out, connect, and we can get going. The moment you connect is the moment you start making the decision to change. Most definitely. And you stick to it and become committed to it as well. Now, for those who are struggling and they'd like to reach out to me, they're welcome to do so. You know, we can, I can connect them with the right people in order to make that change. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not possible to continue living this life in the dull, dull doldrums that we so assume it should be and call it life. That's mm -hmm. not life. You mm -hmm. know, you can be around for 70 years, 80 years, and whatever you put into life, Nothing. eventually what you put in is what you get out. Yeah. So today my message is grow through what you go through. Don't just stay in this dark spot and believe that's what life is all about. So that's what I want to encourage the viewers to take this bold step, make the effort, make the decision and get on. Absolutely lovely. Tony, what a beautiful inspirational message this morning. I mean, a lot of people are so shy actually yeah. to admit what yeah. we're going yeah. through. And yeah. even reaching out to your peers is so embarrassing. And that's why the experts like you in this industry, sure. please contact Tony. He can most definitely guide and help you through all your difficult times to grow through what you are going through. Awesome. Tony, thank you so much. It was Thanks. good having you with me on Thanks, studio Karen. again. Good to have you back as well. Thanks, Tony. We're going to go to an ad break. After the ad break, we've got our sports segment with Matt Williams.
Morning, sports fans. Uh, let's have a look at what's coming up this weekend in the world of sports, starting with some football. And, of course, the UEFA Champions League final coming up on Saturday in Liverpool, hoping uh, to cheer up a bit of disappointment after losing their Premier League title and winning the Champions League. And they're tackling Real Madrid with a 9 p.m. kickoff on Saturday. In the DSTV Premiership, just some catch-up fixtures for Orlando Pirates uh, to make up a full season for them. And coming up uh, tonight at 7.30, it's Royal AM against Pirates. And then one last match in the DSTV Premiership, some Monday Night Football at 6 p.m. as Supersport United host Pirates. Also in some local football, the Ned Bank Cup final coming up tomorrow. That is Saturday at 6 p.m. as Mamelodi Sundowns tackle Maruma Gallants for the title. Moving to some rugby news now and in full focus some local rugby with the Curry Cup in the next round of fixtures coming up this evening at 6 p.m. It's the Bulls against the Pumas. And then two matches to look forward to tomorrow. Kicking off at 2.30, it's the Griquas against the, the Cheetahs. And at 5 p.m., Western Province host the Lions. In some cricket, also another final in the IPL coming up this Sunday at 4.30. And then in the world of golf, uh, we look at the DP World Tour. It's the Dutch Open. And then across the pond in the US PGA Tour, it's the Charles Schwab Challenge. Moving through some tennis news and coming up this weekend... Uh, the, as we move into the second week of the French Open from Roland Garros. And finally, in some motorsport this weekend, coming up on Sunday, two big events to look forward to. Firstly, in the MotoGP, it's the Italian Grand Prix from 2 p.m. And then in Formula One, one of the pinnacle events in motorsport, it's the Monaco Grand Prix from 3 p.m. I'm at Williams for Good Morning North Coast Sport. You have yourself an awesome sporting weekend, and we'll catch you back here next week. Welcome back to our GMNC show. With me in studio, we've got Warren Loder with the thoughts of a middle-aged man blog. Warren, good morning. Morning, huh? Nice to be back. Yes, it's nice to be interviewing you again. It's been a while, hasn't it? Long time, it yeah. It has. So tell me, Warren, what's been happening in the past two months? Um, well, just basically work and work and work. Um, 
so I haven't really written anything yeah. but on the odd occasion we've been away for a weekend just uh, been taking the boys around exploring a couple of places that I still need to write about yes and do you want to share some stories with us or not yet <laughs> well um, yeah no for sure because um, I don't know if I'll even write them but <laughs> Um, one of the expeditions that we went on was to the whaling station at the back of the bluff. Oh. Um, we've been there before, but it's always quite nice to go back and take a look and actually see how nature's taking over the place. Um, yeah, the whaling station was closed down in 1976 and has only been used by the military as, uh, as a shooting range side. for the recce base. Yeah. So, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. And it's a long hike. It's about 16 kilometers there Goodness. Um, along the beach yeah. and then 16 kilometers back. So it's a good, it's a good uh, day's workout. And they allow us to go and do the hike. There's no limitations. So we can all go and... Um, yeah, you're supposed or to get do permission. Do we hide behind the uh, <laughs> yeah. rocks and crawl along? Yeah. <laughs> Military style. Pretty much, yeah. There is still live ammunition there. The last time we were there, we actually found a hand grenade. Jeepers. So when we were there the last time, it was removed. So obviously somebody's has done it. So, yeah, it's not the safest of places not to go. Not advised to go alone, no. But it's very interesting because it's a, it's a massive part of Durban's history. The whaling station was set up in the early 1900s and only closed down in the late 1970s. Sure, it's a long and, time. And, um, yeah, it... it uh, it did a lot for Durban's economy. Um, apparently, it stunk out the whole place. People didn't like it. I can but um, yeah, um, not a nice part of our history either by killing whales. No. But um, the fact that everything is still there is very interesting to go and look and see the sheds and see how the whole production actually worked. Sure. I, I honestly didn't even know there was a whaling station there. I do know where the military base is, but I, did, I never knew about that history. How fascinating yeah. to learn. And then, of course, the, the, the military have used all the rooms and that as their sort of like um, places to go and shoot and stuff like that. So the boys have gone and picked up bullets and all of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then more recently, we've, um, we've actually gone down to the Mploti River Bridge oh, yeah. um, that was washed away. The and we now. went down to the uh, mangroves. And that was very interesting. So we basically done a, a hike down through the mangroves because there's no water there now. Well, um, when we were, were there two weeks ago, there wasn't. It's probably Before filled up now. Before this past weekend, yeah. But um, yeah, we, um, we went down there and it was quite amazing because we were walking on the floor of the estuary um, and the water level is usually where our, head, where our head is. So we're actually walking through like a forest that used to what? be underwater. So it's very, wow, very cool. Wow, that's very fascinating. Yeah. And it's very um, informative for Tane and Land and my sons because... They've never experienced anything like that. So they went out exploring and finding things. And, and then we took a walk all the way up to the free, to the highway, to the end two, yeah. um, along the river. And you to can actually see what, how the floods have actually... It's devastating. Yeah, it has, but it's also brought back the original flow of the river. And it's taken away all the vegetation that was there. That was growing. And it's, that's also very true. Yeah. I also said that the other day. It's, it's quite nice to see the riverbeds open yeah. again and wide again. And there's rocks and there's cliffs and there's all different things that we never get to see yeah so it was very interesting yeah sure i can only imagine i'm sure your kids must so love doing all these things with you i mean i wish that we could do that i mean especially with your knowledge and your history about the areas it must be so fascinating for them yeah well it's they're the inspiration really because they're the one that says come on dad let's get away from the tv no, let's well, go that's and a do good this thing. So not many kids are like that lately is it yeah and the best thing is you can tell them well we can do it after you've done your chores so that's even better <laughs> That's very clever. And then Warren, I just want to touch on your landscaping business. Do you want to tell our viewers about your business? Yeah, we've got a small landscaping business. I only employ um, seven guys and myself and my wife. And um, we do garden maintenance and we do landscaping. And at the moment, we really um, are looking for extra landscaping work. That's, that's where we make our money. And uh, so, yeah, if there's anybody out there that's looking for for landscaping. Yeah, how can they contact you? What are your contact? Yeah, they can get hold of me on my phone number, which is 072-889-0663. Um, and are you just in Belito or what areas are you guys? We go from Sheffield Beach all the way down to Mploti. Oh, it's just um, a big area, yeah. Yeah, and we, we, we cater f more for smaller gardens. We do we do new gardens and, and basically anything in the garden. But, you know, if you've got a new entrance way that you want um, redone or you've got a small roof garden or um, something small that um, is sort of personal, 
that's uh, more of what we, we oh, specialize well, I think, in. I think we need your <laughs> landscaping at our house. It's a complete disaster at this point in time. Can you, can you make it dog proof as well? <laughs> no, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> we have to find that solution. Yeah. Oh, Warren, thank you so much. It's always fascinating having you on the show. And we always learn a lot from you. And we really appreciate your time. And it's nice being back again. I've been away for such a long time. And just life has been so hectic that um, we haven't touched base. But uh, yeah, it's really nice to get back. And probably will give me a little bit more inspiration to get out there and start writing again. Yeah, well, please. So we can read your stories. Well, I'm actually busy <laughs> writing two books at the moment. So that's Good. why. Okay, well, there we go. That's yeah. where all the time and effort's that's going also where the time time is going We need to hold on to your book launch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so remember that, guys. Warren, thanks so much. Have a superb weekend. Excellent. Thank thanks. Thank you. We're going to go into an ad break, and after the ad break, we've got Kelly Manson from Market 031. Welcome back to our GMNC show. With me in studio is a very special interview and one I'm very excited about is Kelly Manson from the Market 031. Kelly, good morning. <laughs> Hello, thank you for having me. It's only a pleasure and guys, why it's so special, it's actually my cousin, so this means so much to me to have her in studio with me today. <laughs> yes, so nice. Kelly, you've done so much and you've achieved so much. For those that don't know, tell us a bit about you. Who is Kelly and what do you do? <laughs> Okay, goodness, where do I start? <laughs> okay, well, Kelly Manson. Um, so today I'm just going to speak about the market that, um, that I run. as a little community in Durban North and um, we started, we saw a little gap in the market and we thought what a great idea to bring families and friends together and um, we just started with like 40 stalls, vendors, all local, everything locally made and produced. And then um, from there we grew and now we have 80 vendors. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. It's been quite an experience. I can the only imagine. The support from the community has been amazing. Okay, so the Market 031 is the last Friday of every month. And they can communicate with you guys or you communicate with the public on all social media platforms. Yes. So we have an Instagram and Facebook account, Market 031. And then also... Um, happy for people to contact me on my email address, which is kellywood76 at icloud.com. Perfect. And then can they contact you for booking stalls? How does it work if I as an outsider want to have my own spot and become a vendor? Yes, so um, they just contact us with information on their um, brand or pictures of their products and if they have any social media pages that we can look at. And then we'll just put them through the committee, the Market 031 committee, and see whether their products are locally made, Oh wow, so um, it's quite, that's very unique though, it's good yeah, to do that. We try and make sure that um, it's not the kind of thing you can just go and buy in the shops, it's unique to the market and locally made, 
and it just gives all our smaller businesses an opportunity to trade. Almost, it gives them that boost, almost, doesn't it? Yeah. And Cole, where about are you based? Um, the market. The market it's itself. At, yeah. Um, Northwood Crusaders Sports Club. At Crusaders, Northwood yeah. Crusaders Sports Club. It's quite a popular um, yeah. little club. Yeah, no, most definitely. We've had some good times there. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, um, what time does the market start on the last day of the month? So it starts at 5 p.m. and then uh, ends at 9. Okay, so it's quite a nice lengthy time as well. Yes, it's nice. And it's not too late, so you can always come in early, have a quick dinner and leave. Don't have to hang around the whole time. But um, it's a lovely vibe for the community, for your friends and family. I mean, kiddies, welcome. It's free entry, free parking. Oh, really? And, um, what a bonus. Yeah, and bring your um, fur babies. Oh, lovely. As long as they're on leads, they're welcome to come. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I'm sure you don't want my rock bile arriving at the market 031. <laughs> Are there any limitations on the dogs? Well, not really, as long as, as, long as they're well behaved and on a lead. Okay, no, that's um, really good. Yeah. And I know you mentioned off air as well, there's live entertainment as well that takes place. Yes, yeah, so um, live music, we have two to three bands at each market sure. and we alternate that. Um, also local musicians. Uh, most of them from Durban North, yeah. Um, yeah, little just, surrounding areas. I love the fact that it's so local orientated and that you guys are actually helping the local individuals and local community. And another thing is, I don't think you'll find two of the same things at your market, is it? No, so we try not to do that. Yes. Um, just because there's 70, 80 stalls, yeah. it sounds like a lot, but you don't really want them to have to compete. Against one another. Yeah. And also for the public, it's nice to go and find unique different stalls all the time. Yes. And I just feel, um, especially with COVID and yeah. um, all the floods and everything, they've really struggled in this time. Most Some of the vendors rely on that um, yeah. income. You know, that's their only source of income. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we really try and make it as unique and as amazing as we can that's for them. That's wonderful. Carl, congratulations on Marco 031. You guys are doing so well. And it's such a fabulous environment and setting to be. And like you said, it's kid friendly, it's pet friendly. There's live entertainment and guys, there's a lot of space. So if you want to be a vendor, please contact Kelly on her social media platforms or on her email. It really is a fun and good opportunity to make an extra income. And for those that don't want to make an extra income, to go and support the locals. What a fabulous initiative, Carl. We really appreciate all you do for the locals. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's only a pleasure. We're going to go into an ad break. And after the ad break, we've got our Miss Polito segment with Chantal Sushan. Hi, my name is Bobby van Jarsveld, singer, songwriter and actor. And I'm excited to tell you that I've partnered with filmmaker Mornay Lane and that I'm proud to be a part of the Da Vinci International Film Academy. I'm Mornay Lane and for the past 15 years I've been on an amazing film industry journey that has included me producing 10 films and director too. My movies landed up on Netflix, Showmax and DSTV. My passion for filmmaking and teaching is the very reason why I started Da Vinci International Film Academy. Our exciting user-friendly app has all the elements to teach you the A to Z's of filmmaking and to top it all off, we will even shoot a short film with you as part of your practical. Hello, my name is Mandy Rootman, a passionate and experienced marketer and I'm looking forward to bringing you our new course, Real Marketing Insights, into the film industry that will teach students practical and effective marketing skills, not only for your business, but for yourself. I'm Lynette Pretorius, the owner and professional accountant from Austral Accounting. Now that you have the skills of filmmaking and know how to market yourself and your business, I will teach you how to start and manage your business finances with our new business entrepreneurial course. Hi, I'm Darit. I'm a professional makeup artist and I'll be teaching you how to do film and special effects makeup. Our course pricing ranges from $439.50 to $879 per course with no registration fee being charged. And best of all, we'll shoot a short film with you in your province at the end of the year. A new feature on our app is our short course offering, allowing students to only select the courses they want to do or even just our signature course, The Vinci Resolve. The choice is yours. We are accredited by Blackmagic Design and students will earn an international certification with every exam passed. 
and every student that joins Da Vinci International Film Academy will get a free subscription for Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. It is as easy as pay, learn and become certified. Join today by downloading our app and press the enroll button. Black Magic Design, creating the world's highest quality solutions for feature film, post-production, and television broadcast industries. Fit24 and Belito TV are proud to announce a new and exciting television series. Giving contestants the opportunity to lose weight and feel great with our Fit24 challenge. We are looking for 12 contestants who are driven to achieve their weight loss goals and kickstart their new and improved healthy lifestyle within the guidance of their very own personal trainer provided by Fit24. The finale will reveal the winner who made the biggest impact on their health and weight loss journey, walking away with a host of prizes valued at 50,000 Rand, along with a lifetime membership at Fit24 Gyms. To enter the Fit24 Challenge, write a one-page motivation as to why we should choose you. Submit your motivation and a full-length photo of yourself at the closest Fit24 Gyms Club in your area, and you could be chosen for our very first season. Entries close on the 25th of June, 2022. T's and C's apply. Please note that the Fit24 Challenge is only permitted to entrants who reside within KZN. Welcome back to our GMNC show. With me in studio is our Miss Belito segment, our beautiful Chantal Sushon from our Miss Belito finalist. Chantal, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. No, it's only a pleasure. You're drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Chantal, tell me a bit about the Miss Belito experience so far. Uh, the Miss Belito experience has definitely been an exciting journey. I've really enjoyed getting to know a lot of new girls who have entered the competition as well. Yeah. I've also been able to speak to a lot more people in the community. Uh, going around, getting putting yourself out there has been a really exciting journey. And um, I just really enjoyed it so far. Oh, Miss Eve, and also to put yourself out there is very daunting, isn't it? Yes, and I think with a lot of girls, there's so many opportunities and great things that can come from entering the Miss Belito competition. And I think a lot of girls, there's so many exact, exciting things that come from it. You get to meet a whole bunch of people, do sponsors, get in touch with your community. Uh, but a lot of things that's a big thing that stops the girls from doing it is actually the fear and anxiety from entering. Most a definitely. lot of girls are scared of putting themselves out yeah. there, which um, I think that's exactly when you should put yourself out there because the whole journey is to grow your confidence and actually get out there and um, put yourself out there and try new things. So. I wouldn't let the fear and anxiety stop you from doing something great with new opportunities. And it's really good that you're saying that. I mean, you said to me off air that you've never done modeling before. And look at you. Yes, you know, no. you're glowing, you're having fun. And what I know about Karen and Hardy, the organizers of the Miss Belito event, I mean, they really are hands on and they take you from one space to a complete different space and mold and transform all these women. That's very true. So I, Micheline and I spoke about it and we both, at first we were like, no, we've haven't done modeling before we're not going to enter and then afterwards we spoke about it and we're like modeling you can learn how to model but actually helping and putting yourself out there and your character that you can't learn how to do that is just something you're gifted with uh, so we decided to try and go out and share our experience and our knowledge and things with everyone else and helping the community because there's a lot of great things you can do but the biggest thing that stops people from doing it is the fear for me, it was the modeling. I was like, no, 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 I haven't done that. It's good, thank you. <laughs> but I think it's great to put yourself out there and try new things because at the end of the day, we can learn how to model. Oh, um, most so definitely. And I know Karen guides you guys so beautifully as yes. well. And there's nothing for you to fear about it. <laughs> <laughs> so Chantal, tell me a bit about your cause that you're involved in. So I have teamed up with Glide and Ride, uh, which is a company that teaches kids from the age of two years old all the way up to 13 years old how to ride a bicycle. Um, so it's been a great cause and I've been involved with them ever since I moved to Belito and I teamed up with them too. We went to school, Cezanne Combined Primary School and I asked them, we did a walk around the school because I originally wanted to do a vegetable garden. Yeah. Um, but due with the whole floods and things, we decided it 
was best to go with a uh, grade R foundation phase fencing. Uh, because of the floods, the fencing Shame. has fallen down. So we're wanting to rebuild the fencing and get a new gate to keep the grade R's safe there. What a beautiful cause. I mean, that's really a stunning cause. And how can we donate to your cause? So we have got the donations are available on, I have a poster where it's got the Glanrad account details where you can donate some money towards it. Um, or if there is anyone that is willing to donate fencing, that would be great. We are working with a fencing company Raw Fencing, who's going to help us and give us advice with the fencing uh, to put up for the great odds to make sure it's strong and safe um, for next time if there's more floods. What a beautiful driving yes. caution. So I wish you all the best with that. And then I do know you are a twin. Yes. Tell me about the both of yours journey so far. I mean, both have been very supportive of each other. It's been really great to have one another to help each other and just put yourself, yourself out there. We are posting our journey on the Twins in Transit um, Instagram account. So we're both sharing an account where we can um, share our experience and let people um, get involved with our experience with helping us with the community drives and everything there. So it's been really great to have her to support me. I think it also takes a lot more of the fear like off my back because Most I know that she's thinking. in the same boat and a lot of the girls are all in the same boat. Yeah. So it's really great to have a best friend to do it through. Absolutely uh, lovely. And I love the name, Twins and Transit. <laughs> Guys, go and follow them. Watch their journey and support them. And then in closing, Chantal, what is it that you wish to achieve from the whole Miss Polito journey? Um, my goal is to achieve personal growth and confidence. I think being a twin, a lot of the time you get shattered by each other. A lot yeah. of people compare you guys against each other. So it's really great. I get with this Miss Belita, a lot more people are comparing us against each other because we're both in running for of it. Of course, of course. Um, but I think it's really great just to do something for yourself and just to put yourself out there and try your best because a lot of this has to do with your character and personality. Um, so I would really like to, I think my goal is to put myself out there and actually help out in the community and uh, spread positivity. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful cause. Well, Chantal, I wish you all the best. Like I said in the beginning, you are drop dead gorgeous. And may you guys grow and have a prosperous journey here at Miss Belita. I do know it's a lovely journey that you guys are being taken through. Go and follow Chantal and her twin sister, Mish, on Twins and Transit on Instagram. Give them your support and please donate to her cause. It really is a heartwarming cause. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to go into an ad break, and after the ad break, we've got the drive times with Santos Khan. Clothing Boutique is now situated at the Well, which is in Belito, which is opposite Ashton College. In addition to our clothing range, we also do a variety of other things. We do leather shoes, leather bags, gifting, cushions, homeware, whatever you need for a Lula living lifestyle. garment from Lula doesn't just appear in the shop a lot goes into it before it actually goes into the store so from making the patterns which I do myself to sourcing the fabric to making the prototypes to making sure the thread matches to making sure the elastic is correct everything is done in-house and from the time of conception of a pattern to actually getting a, a prototype sample can take one hour and then we're happy with it and then we go into production. So all my people work with me directly in the factory and there's eight people that work with me and they all have a role to play, including myself. Everybody just works together as a family and we're supporting local and everything happens under one roof at Lula.
Good morning, Belito. Welcome to another epic show of the Draft Times. And we're on the top floor today, the way of the Samoa, with 52-time cap rugby springbok legend, Mr. Jesse Curl. Thanks, thanks for having me, man. And thanks. Pleasure. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, oh, very good, thanks. Good to be back in Durban. You've been gone for how long? I've uh, been there in Japan for six months. Um, so I do six months at a time and then obviously come back now for a bit of time off and then we join up uh, with the Spring Boxing Camp. So okay. very okay. excited about that. Yeah. And, and coming back from Japan to Japan? <laughs> yeah, into, into a Japanese car. So yeah. Um, yeah, very, very happy about that. I'm yeah. sure my Japanese uh, teammates and, uh, and, and friends there will also be happy about that. But yeah. Um, very nice to meet everyone here and, uh, and get to know everyone. And um, yeah, thanks for having me today. And your pleasure. And tell me, are you looking forward to this uh, test that's coming up? You've got these three big challenges here yeah. in July. It's, it's going to be it's going to be epic. I think Wales uh, obviously coming out here to, to to obviously try and win the series. And we obviously it's the first time playing in front of a home crowd uh, with with fans um, um, in in a few years with the whole COVID and everything. So True. the guys will really be excited about that. And uh, um, are we all looking forward to it? And I'm sure all the fans are as well. So it's it's something to to to, to get really excited about. No, that's it. Yeah, the fans are really looking forward to it. Um, you know, we're excited and definitely every part of the team. And this is not going to be a short term. We're definitely going to look at going forward. You know, we want you in the family. You're coming from Japan. We got to keep you in Japanese cars. Awesome. Keep yeah. everybody happy. But yeah, of course. And then guys, we've also got the the, the show here. Don't forget, we're going to have Jesse here, one or two of the guys, signing some balls. We've got cars on display, dinos, all of those things. But enough about that. We're going to let this man get to his family. You haven't seen him in a year? Haven't seen him in ages, yeah. In yeah, ages, yeah. in yeah. ages. So we're going to leave you. You enjoy your drive. She's a beautiful machine. We filled it up. She's at the top of the range, 1.5 turbo. Don't be shy. <laughs> Drive it like you stole it. No, no, no. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I, want, I don't want to be in jail. I don't, I'm just got home. The roads so, are hectic here. That's why we're giving you a big car. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. It looks like changed. it can handle, so uh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, I'll drive safe. Don't Definitely. worry. Awesome. Jesse, welcome Thanks. to the family again. Thank you so much, man. We'll I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. More. Yeah, awesome. Guys, we'll catch you Cheers, soon. Guys. Stay safe on the road. Simply Models KZN is a unique modeling and finishing school based in the heart of Belito. Classes are available to both boys and girls from three years and older, with the focus being on developing confidence and building a positive self-image. Weekly classes take place at the beautiful Relax Inn, where students are guaranteed to have fun and are often pampered and spoiled with hand and nail treatments while learning about hygiene and self-care. The makeup and hair classes are a hit amongst the girls, and this learning is taken further with them being taught how to dress according to their body shapes. Etiquette and manners form part of the learning, as does posture and poise. And the Simply Models team are always incredibly proud to see their models walk with confidence when they take part in fashion shows and events. The best part of the classes offered is the lasting friendships that are formed. Get in touch with Simply Models today by calling 064-379-5663. Uh, hey Belito, it's 2022 Man vs Food. Are we supporting the usual suspects, Sables Creatures and the Belito Beach Collective? This year we've got a long list of activities for this amazing evening. What do we got, Brett? We've got hot wings, we've got chili vodka drinking contest, we've got a boat race, we've got an auction, but this year, we are changing the game. We have completely destroyed the main event 
and we've created something new, and it is called Thor's Hammer. So Brett, tell us what Thor's Hammer is all about. This is a 2 kg beef shin. We're gonna cover it with a cheese sauce on top of a bed of mash, weighing in at three kgs. Three kilos. So if you think you're man enough, you got what it takes, or just capable of taking this bad boy down, get down to Mozambique Belito on the 8th of June, get involved, it's all for charity, and let's see you put your money where your mouth is. And we will, we, we will, will rock you. <laughs> And there you have it. It's been an honor to be among such accomplished individuals. Thank you to our companions, viewers, and sponsors. Just a quick reminder about our religious content streaming every Sunday from 8.30 a.m. We'll be closing up the show with a music video showcasing Remy Short. Have a great weekend and we'll catch you back right here on Wednesday morning. Hoeveel keer moet ons nog val voor ons spreek? Hoe lang moet ons wacht voor ons om te weer? Soms wordt ons moe en wanneer is genoeg genoeg? Hou jou kop voor die water. Don't you cry.